Christoph, no. Christoph, yeah. Mm. I love you. Hey guys, it's Christoph from Remolad. I hope you're doing all great. So you want to stream Beat Saber while playing and also be able to interact with the chat and of course getting song requests without any necessary additional actions. You're in the right place. I will show which modifications you exactly need to get, how you get them and how to get them into the right place. Coming up. The very first thing you want to get is the mod assistant for Beat Saber. Basically go your browser, hit in mod assistant Beat Saber, you will get directly to GitHub and you can download it here. Then hit the mod assistant.x, just execute it. The very first time you will get to this page to read through the terms of conditions, agreed, and then you will get a notification that you can use the mods. Then the mod assistant will load the mods. There are already some pre-selected which like basic mods which you don't need to worry about. And then you can basically go up here and enter stream core, which is here. Select it and hit install and update and everything's done. For back checking that everything's gonna be fine. You go into the game folder, if you got it on Steam like me, it's basically on your installed drive, on Steam Apps, Common, Beat Saber, and then furthermore on plugins, then you should have here streamcore.dll, and also in the user data you should have got here a folder which is called streamcore as well, in this one should be a Twitch login info.ene, we get to this one later though. So once you're done with the mod assistant you will go to the Beat Saber modding group on Discord, I will share the link with you in the video description. You basically go up here in the search field, type in song request manager, hit enter and it will already show you this, this link here, you hit it and you will get, get directly to the post where you can download the song request manager.zip. Once you're done downloading the song request manager, you basically unzip the file, quite easy. You get in here the plugins folder with the DLL, you copy it and put it into your game folder, exactly into the plugins where it already is here. Once done with the song request manager, you will head over again to GitHub and get the enhanced stream chat modification or plugin. I will also share the link for this download so you can get it easily. Once you're done with extracting the song request manager and downloading the enhanced stream chat plugin, same as before, just unzip it, copy the plugins folder or the DLL file itself into the root folder, respectively the plugins folder, where it's already located in my case. Once you've done this, the last step which remains is just configuring Twitch chat ENE, which is done via Beat Saber, user data, stream core, and then you have here a folder called Twitch login info.ene. Inside there, you basically just have to fill in th uh, three things your Twitch channel name, your Twitch username, it's just the same as the channel name but like with upper and lowercase letters, and also the Twitch authentication token, which I will also share you a link where you can get it to get your Twitch authentication token. You basically go to twitchapps.com slash TMI, hit connect, and then it will ask you to authorize your account for this website, and then you will get this link. You basically just copy it out and fill it in here, hit save, and you're done with setting up the communication. Once you're done with those steps, just start the game, and I will see you right there, and then you can set up the rest. So, hello again. As you can see, we're now in the game and we can already see our Twitch chat window, so this is working fine. But also wanna check if the rest is working, go to mod settings, and you can see down here we have the enhanced stream chat and as well the song request manager where you have some basic setup options, but you can leave it as it is, it's no changes necessary. So we get out of here again and hit now solo. And now you have up here the song request queue, and I will now type in a message so you can actually see this is working as it should. So I'm just writing just a message and then with exclamation mark BSR, I just fill in my song requests with a four digit code and there it is, Seven Nation Army from White Stripes. And now I can basically select it and 
play it or skip it or blacklist if you want to blacklist the song if you don't want to have it again and here you can also like close and reopen the request queue so that's about it i hope you got everything working right away and thanks for watching and see you next time bye i don't think i like that look on your face <laughs> bad christoph good christoph no yeah <sighs>